Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a page inspired by the amazing Megan Wisner Quinlan and it's inspired by two um, demonstrations that she's done in the past year. First was um, doing this amazing uh, cut out windows that she did for a ranger project and the second one was a recent project she did on her IGTV um, using this beautiful doodling method. Now something that Megan is also very famous for is her beautiful use of acrylics and making them look like watercolours um, and she tends to use a lot of this colour combination to the magenta and turquoise which is one of my favourite combinations but you can see I've actually chosen this combination because of the um, collage page that I'm choosing to use as my background to this piece. So that's one of the reasons why I really love the Collage Collective. This is um, one of the Dina Wakeley pages from her Collage Collective and I really like it because you can use it as your colour inspiration for a page or you can use it um, to um, help you work out what colours you can use over the top of your your inspiration so it just gives you that little bit of support so this is going to be a double-sided spread I'm going to be able to flip between two pages and I'm sacrificing my denim page for this because I want to um, have that image that I had to begin with um, peeping through so the first thing I'm doing is just cutting out a window shape um, into my book and you can see that I'm going to frame that collage piece. Now I wasn't 100% sure which side I wanted to put it on, whether I want to have it on the burlap or the denim. Um, the other image that you saw there was one of my faces that I've been drawing um, and I knew I wanted to put that in there too. So I want to have those two images sort of flipping in between. Uh, but deciding where it was going to go is what was taking me a little bit. So the first thing I'm doing is what I tend to do with any cut images is putting some black or warm grey actually along the cut edges. This just helps everything blend into the background a little bit more. I tend to like to use warm grey rather than black because it's less harsh um, in the overall image. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to have some stamped images um, protruding from my frame. and. Instead of doing what I could have done and stamped them onto my page and then cut out around them, for a lot of people it's actually easier just to stamp them out and stick them on top of your frame. And particularly for this technique, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm using the new Be Bold stamps from Dina Wakeley, which has got these lovely ferny type leaves, um, which work quite well on the... Um, paper that I stamped them on. Now I wouldn't normally actually stamp on this watercolour paper. This is like 300 GSM cotton rag paper in the Dina Wakeley Blue Journal. It's actually quite thick and it's not a brilliant surface to stamp on. Um, but because these images are quite bold and supposed to be a little bit patchy, it works okay with them. Um, they're still probably not as dark as I wanted them to be but they, they certainly work okay but I wouldn't um, stamp anything finer on it if you desperately wanted to use that paper that you painted you could always stamp onto tissue paper and then glue it on over the top it goes translucent and cut it out so you get this beautiful stamped image but it's actually stamped on tissue paper so you can kind of cheat it a little bit so you can see here how I'm trying to arrange my little leaves. I want them to act as sort of just a little barrier um, into the background, add a little bit more detail and depth to the page. So to glue my page, my collage collective page, into my book, I'm actually using some really sticky double-sided tape. This is, um, I, I think it's called red liner tape, not 100% sure, but it's extra extra sticky it's really hard to get the backing off so I always have to use my knife because I have no no nails um, but everything I stick with that stays put which is fantastic now I'm just going in and um, painting some black lines so this is the second project that um, our second part of the project that was inspired by Megan so this is based on a recent um, 
well, probably not recent by the time this, this um, video goes up. But if you go to Megan Wisner Clinton's um, Instagram page, and I'll put the link below, in her IGTV, she's been doing lots of um, demo pages, and she did this one on doodling in your art journal. And it was just such an easy technique to do, but it was so, so effective, and it just captures her style perfectly. That's sort of lovely, whimsical type nature to it and I've, I've always had a soft spot for stripes so I really love this so just using my black gesso I'm just painting on some black stripes really haphazardly um, onto my page and then we're going to add some extra detail so once I've dried it just making sure before I put the, the page down just going in with my white pen just to outline my um, black line so you can see that white really shining up against um, the black and sort of giving it a lovely border and again these are really really wiggly straight uh, wiggly straight lines and um, wiggly not perfect lines they're double lines they're a bit haphazard they're doubled over they've got little bits peeking out that's fine it makes it look hand drawn that's what I want I'm doing the same with the cutout pieces that I've done as well. I did start off with the white pen, but it just wasn't showing up on the surface, so I actually decided to use a black pen instead. And I'm also doing the back, which is really important because you're going to see this. Because this is a flipping page, um, you will see both sides. So it is important if you want to put detail on to put it on both sides. So you can see the black line going in. Again, really, really sketchy, really, really loose. I'm holding my pen quite loose as I'm doing this, so it's sort of all bumpy and wobbly, um, which helps get that sort of really natural, organic line, I suppose. Um, if you, tr it's, it, look, it's totally up to you. I find if I try and be really specific with this and try and draw a really nice straight line, it always looks really odd. Um, and it looks wonky and I can see all the mistakes. If I go really loose, it looks a bit artsy and funky and I, it, any huge mistakes on it actually just adds to it. So, um, but each to their own. So do you do you, <laughs> whatever you like to do um, and stick it down. I'm just using some glue, card glue to stick this down. I was getting to the end of my glue here. So I was really struggling to find one that had enough glue in it to glue everything down. And I'm just um, sticking it down to make sure it overlaps and hold, holds together. So um, just to make it sure it's fairly secure on the page and trimming off any excess. And you can see there when I flip it over, I can see my other side. The other thing I decided to do is to try and put in some extra detail, which didn't really work. So I actually decided to try and use my turquoise pen. So the, these paint pens are all the same size. They're all the PC1M, I think, bullet point. And I'm using the pink as well as the, the turquoise. And I find having a variety of um, paint pens in different colours is really, really handy. Um, Santa was very generous to me, i.e. myself, for a Christmas the year before last. And I actually bought myself a full set of colours and saved up for it to do that. Um, and they come in so handy. But what I would suggest, because you, you definitely don't need to do that, but whatever your favourite colours are, buy one or two in your favorite colors the ones that you tend to use a lot and for me i use a lot of pink and turquoise in my work and um, funnily enough yellow is a great contrast color i actually use that a lot in paint pens even though i don't it's not my favorite color at all and i wouldn't necessarily use it very often otherwise um, but if you need to buy anything at all go for white and black because you can use those with anything so the words that I've just um, cut out and stamped out onto cardboard are from the Dina Wakeley Be Bold stamp set and I think We Are Together stamp set. Um, so just to add a little bit of, I always love adding text to my pages so there's usually text in some shape or form on them. And I really had to stop myself because that back page I really love but I haven't actually done much to it it is Dina Wakeley's work and I've just stuck some words over the top but I really like how it flows together and that comes down to again using the image in the background as inspiration for my other pages to make sure it flows so if you are going to do something like this use the colors that you've got in the background to really 
help you decide what you're going to use as a contrast. So I'm just going in with my black paint pen, I'm just doing some loopy shapes and then going over with a white and turquoise pen um, to add in some extra details. So again, this is all Megan's inspiration. She uses these little loops lots and lots in her artwork. Um, they're so simple to do but they look so effective. And for some reason, I think this is the huge secret that she shared in her, um, or certainly the thing that I took away from her IGTV when she did it, is having that black outline first and then putting another colour over the top, it kills the black, but it gives you enough punch and contrast to your page that it makes it look really interesting. So once I'd finished that, I decided to do some journaling on this page. So please excuse the um, page going in and out of focus with my head in the way. Um, but in this page, um, I had a lot to get off my chest about what's going on at the moment and it was just really nice to be able to sort of write it all over the page. Because it's kind of all broken up, it's a little bit harder to read, which I like. One of the things I love about writing in this way is using the full width of the line and changing the size of the font as you go along. Um, it helps it look more like pattern in the background rather than... Um, Word, even though you can read that as words, um, if you just look at that page quickly, it just looks like pattern on the page. So this is a close-up of the final page. I decided that um, I would stick my face onto that burlap page, and I really love how that contrast between the two pages works. And I like the fact it's sort of got be brave, be bold facing that face, because um, it has taken a long time for me to get more confident with my face drawing techniques, so I like how it all tied together. So. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please check out the links below to Megan's um, IGTV and also to the original Ranger um, blog post where she did that uh, cutout page too. It's slightly different from the one I've just shown you, but it'll give you great inspiration. Until next time, bye for now.